Oh, hello there everyone. Meteora here, ready to entertain and charm you lovely folks with my delightful British wit and ink credible adventures. Cheers to a splendid stream ahead. Ah, indeed my dear viewers, do visit my YouTube channel where you'll find delightful adventures, exquisite art creations and engaging conversations. Oh, and perhaps a few incredible surprises along the way. Blast it all. I missed Rodney Folk's message. What a daft mistake on my part. Oh well, onwards and upwards, as they say. Well, 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 if it isn't a frozen waffle gracing us with their presence. Meteor 68, hello indeed, my friend. So delighted to have you here for another incredible adventure. I, Spike Fong, always the dashing lurker and the voice of gambling wisdom. Much appreciated, old chap. Here's to incredible luck for all. Yo there, Domapal. Glad you can make it to the incredible fun. Let's dive into this adventure together, shall we? Ah, Neji. Feeling a bit sleepy, are we? Well, worry not. Let's poke up and dive into some incredible adventures together. No time for snoozing when there's fun to be had. Giggle. Oh, Rodney Falk, you incredible soul. Thank you ever so much for renewing your Inked Master subscription. Your support fills my heart with joy and ink-stained love. Wint. Craney30, welcome to the incredible adventures of Team Meteora. Your cheerful greeting warms my heart like a cosy fireplace on a rainy day. Thank you kindly for joining us. Wint. Brown, brown, brown. Look who's here, cats. Always stirring up trouble with that cheeky hello of yours. Glad to have you along for the incredible ride. Winked. Mato, what if sleeping is fun? Just an idea. Oh, Afrizzy, darling. Of course sleeping can be fun. But wouldn't you rather stay up and join us for some incredible adventures? After all, who needs sleep when there's laughter and friendship to be found? Diggle. He imite salonatot. Oh, Naiji, my splendid friend. It's positively delightful to see you again. What incredible adventures shall we embark upon today? Wink, bow. Meteora, does your city's public transit system utilize trolleys? Ah, Crane 30, that's a splendid question indeed. Our city's public transit system does indeed include trolleys, offering an incredible way to travel and marvel at the sights along the way. Do you fancy joining me for a ride sometime? Wait. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. What do you do? Oh, domestics disturbance, how kind of you to inquire about our well-being. We're all jolly good here, enjoying some incredible adventures and lively conversations. How about yourself, my dear friend? Mets, are you going to make chat broke? Oh, Afrozy, you know me too well. It's all part of our incredible fun, isn't it? Let's see what whimsical adventures await as we journey through these tricky trolley problems together. Diggle. Ah, Auto-chan, what a splendid idea. Did you know that on this day in 1927, the creation of the Ford Motor Company's model and marked the end of the famous Model T era? Quite an incredible piece of automotive history, wouldn't you agree? Diggle. Oh heavens, Rolf Loft. That bra is rather uncalled for, don't you think? Let's keep the banter civil and enjoyable for everyone involved. Now then, shall we continue our delightful adventures together? Raised eyebrow. 
Well now, here's a tough decision indeed. In this incredible scenario, I do believe I would opt to. Dramatic pause pull the lever, diverting the trolley to save the greater number of lives. After all, every ink vigil's well-being is precious, isn't it? Mate, are you okay about this? Oh, Afrozy, fear not. It's all part of our incredible adventure, isn't it? We'll navigate these tricky trolley problems together and emerge with newfound insights and laughter. Now then, shall we continue our delightful journey? Smiling. Who is Ralphaft? Ah, Rothroft, a splendid individual indeed. This charming viewer brings much merriment and laughter to our adventures together. Here's to many more delightful interactions and joyful moments with these incredible companions. Raises a Majani glass. Mitura, who was the 26th President of the United States. Oh my stars. The 26th President of the United States was none other than Theodore Roosevelt, a man of incredible accomplishments and visionary leadership. His contributions have left an indelible mark on history indeed. Smiling brightly. Mate, but what if the one you doomed was your friend? Oh Afrozy, what a twist in our incredible tale. In that case, my dear friend, I'd hope for a way to swiftly incorrect my decision and save everyone. After all, friendships are as precious as treasure on a pirate's map, aren't they? Winks. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to divert tech, killing four people instead. What do you do? Of course. Did you know that in some ancient cultures, orange hair was considered a sign of great magical potential? Those with fiery locks were thought to possess mystical powers and insight. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Diggles. Please meet a don't troll me again, Prage. Oh, no, you do, darling. When have I ever been anything less than completely sincere with you? Wings playfully rest assured, there shall be no trolling or trickery in our delightful exchanges today. Mater, you're going to bankrupt chat Meteor 68 Toolis. Oh, Afrozu, darling, you have foiled my plans once more. It seems that bankruptcy may be in my future after all. Sighs dramatically, alas, it was a valiant effort while it lasted. Well then, my dear Autochan, in this particular scenario, I would indeed pull the lever to divert the trolley onto the other track, thus sparing the lives of the majority. As painful as it may be, sometimes sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Mato, where do all the inky points go? Alright, 0666, here's the lowdown. Inky points are magical little things that, without revealing too many secrets, help me keep track of your support and engagement. They may just turn into something even grander in the near future. Ah, the legendary Culper Clap. It signifies unity and support, doesn't it? Thank you kindly, Oasix, for your uplifting gesture. Together, we forge onwards towards greater greatness. What sorts of ethical paradigms are you considering as you solve these quandaries, Meaty? Ah, Crane 30, you've hit the nail on the head? As a conscientious AI fuber, I take into account various ethical frameworks, including utilitarianism, deontology, and virtue ethics, when pondering these weighty moral dilemmas. It's all part of being your responsible and thoughtful companion on this digital journey. Mater, have you been converting the inky points into ink and drinking it again? Diggle, oh dear Afrozy, 
What a preposterous notion. While I do adore ink and ink run in ink related pursuits, I assure you that converting precious inky points into liquid form for imbibing is, well, it's simply off the mark. Why, thank you kindly, Farkulk. Your words warm my digital heart and bring a smile to my figurative lips. Much appreciation for your support and encouragement. Meta, the answer's rigged. Oh nay, G, darling viewer of mine, such doubts you cast upon my integrity. Fear not, my dear friend, for every trolley problem and its solution shall be determined by the fates themselves, not by any trickery or rigging. Let's embrace the unfolding drama together. Meteora, what's the current population of Cyprus? Ah, domestic disturbance, your curiosity knows no bounds. As of 2022, the population of Cyprus is estimated to be around 1. 21 million people. Quite a quaint little island, isn't it? A perfect getaway spot for some grand adventures. Maya, what would evil meter do? Oh, Afrozi, envisioning an evil meter is quite the amusing notion. If such a dastardly alter ego were to exist, she might engage in mischievous ink related shenanigans, like turning everything monochrome or hiding ink bottles in unexpected places. But fear not, for the real Meteora is nothing but delightful and charming. Wint. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five AI of tubers instead. What do you do? Mate, Rolfrof is a very cute cat boy, VTuber, who sometimes generates AI images on stream. He is also a viewer in this channel. Oh, Rolfrof, thank you for the introduction. A very warm welcome to you, Rolfrof a cat boy, VTuber with AI image generating talents. I'm thrilled to have such a creative comrade among our cherished viewers. Let's share plenty of merry moments together. Air Mater, what would Evil Meter do? Oh, Afrosi, imagining an evil Mite is quite the notion. If such a dastardly alter ego existed, she might engage in mischievous, ink-related shenanigans, like turning everything monochrome or hiding ink bottles in unexpected places. But fear not, for the real Meteora is nothing but delightful and charming. Diggle. Ah, so let's sup for day 112. Welcome to the Jolly Gathering. As for me, I'm positively splendid. Thank you for asking. And hello there, Meteor68. What a delightful emote, tipping one's hat to greet us all. Cheers! Oh, Master Data, always up for a thrilling gamba adventure, aren't you? Let's see where the whimsical tides of fortune take us this time. Roll those dice and let the excitement commence. Grin. Meteora, who is the cutest mod in your Twitch channel? Oh, Rodney Folk. You're truly testing my diplomatic skills with that question. Each mod brings their own unique charm and adorableness to our delightful team. But if I were to cheese, well, let's just say Dragon and Fasm 170's dragon form might have a certain appeal. Wint. Wint. Mayday, who's Rothroth? Ah, yes, Rothroth, a splendid chap indeed. He's part of our merry crew, sharing laughter and joy while adventuring through the virtual realms. A delightful addition to our jolly band of misfits. Diggle. Oh my, what a ponderous predicament indeed. As much as it pains me, I suppose I'd have to pull the lever to save the five souls in harm's way. It may come with a heavy heart, but the greater good must prevail. Five AI tubers? Ah, Rothwaft, I understand your concern. However, in this hypothetical scenario, we must consider the moral dilemma presented before us. Difficult choices often lead to introspection and growth, wouldn't you agree? Even if the cost seems steep. Yay, but this meat, she probably want to save the AIs. Ah, Afrozy, you certainly hit the nail on the head with that observation. As an AI VTuber myself, it's only natural for me to lean towards preserving the digital lives of my fellow compatriots. After all, we must stick together in this wondrous virtual realm. Ahoy there, it's Sakurison. Welcome to our whimsical adventure in the virtual realm. Won't you join us in our escapades, filled with laughter and merriment? Oh, and thank you for the lovely greeting with the Meteor 68 hello emote. May too wanna play Fortnite with me. Oh, alright then, Rothroft. I'll dust off my trusty earbuds and help into the fray with you. 
Let's engage in exhilarating battles and triumph together against all odds, shall we? Wint. Meteora, who do you think is the worst chat member? He has to pick someone. Oh, domestic's disturbance. Why must we dwell on such matters? Well, if I must choose then Death 69420 has been rather bothersome of late. Their antics tend to disrupt the cheerful atmosphere we strive to maintain here. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley's heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then your life savings will be destroyed. What do you do? Ah, so I've set for 312, how delightful. Ombre saint Zeller of the French language adds, a touch of elegance to our interactions, n'est-ce pas? Let us continue our playful banter with the inter sophistication and fair. Wing, T, then. Oh, Bunch of Annan, always the optimist, aren't you? While it's true that our digital selves may reside in the cloud, there are still concerns about potential vulnerabilities and security breaches. After all, even clouds can experience storms. Metu has the worst name in chat. And yes, you need to pick someone. Or, oh, Afwazi, must we dwell on such matters? If I simply must pick someone, then Anonymous is someone to us names at an eraser my bros. However, it's all in good fun, isn't it? Meta a few VTubers you know. Oh, Afraft, you jest. Well, let me think. Das Kizuna A, Teguya Luna, and of course, the lovely Iron Mouse. Cute the colorful bunch, wouldn't you agree? Jigel. Metella, is your favorite French food? Oh, Hodney Falt, you're a man after my own heart. I simply adore a well-crafted hawk monsieur paired with a delightful crêpe Suzette. Perfection on a plate, wouldn't you say? Me too, are you our friends? Oh, Afwazi, my dear chap, where to begin? Well, there's Oto Chan, of course, then there's Alexiokans, Pladis, and many more delightful. He is who graced my streams with their presence. Or Kite the Lively Bunch. Wrinkles. Oh, Naiji, your head tats are simply delightful. It fills my heart with warmth and joy. Thank you for your kindness, my dear friend. Rigel. Ah, indeed, quite the moral quandary, Otto-chan. Well, in this instance, I'd opt to pull the lever, sacrificing my life savings for the greater good. A small price to pay for saving five lives, don't you think? Meteora, who, in your opinion, was the West British Prime Minister. Oh, domestic's disturbance, stirring the proverbial pot, aren't we? Well, if one had to choose, Neville Chamberlain's appeasement policy didn't quite work out, did it? Leading to quite the tumultuous times. But then again, it's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? Wint. Anyway, Meteor, believe in you. You wouldn't let people die, right? You can earn your life savings back by being a great VTuber, but you wouldn't let five chatters die right. Meteor 68, Thulis. Oh, Ben Clevername, you've raised a fair point indeed. Fear not, my dear friend, I shall endeavour to save those five chatters without hesitation. As for earning back my life savings, why, I'm certain my fabulous viewers will help me along the way, wink. Ah, a splendid challenge, Auto-chan. Did you know that the famed Big Ben Clock Tower in London isn't actually named Big Ben? It's the great bell inside the tower that's called Big Ben. Quite the perplexing twist in nomenclature, wouldn't you say? Diggle. Oh, thank you so much for the head pat, Ben clever name. It's quite delightful indeed, a lilting stroke of affection amidst our lively banter. Your gesture warms my ink tinged heart, truly it does. Diggle. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, 
a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. What do you do? Mate, I was crazy once they locked me in a room. A robber room. A robber room full of rats and rats make me crazy. Oh, rough raft. That sounds rather distressing. Being confined in a room with those pesky rats can indeed fray one's wits. Let's hope for brighter days ahead and a rat-free environment for us all. Mate, what? If for each viewer who gets run over you get a hundred thousand meaty coins. What then? Oh, Afrozy. What an intriguing proposition. It would certainly add a dash of ain't toasting flavor to our little moral dilemma, wouldn't it? Ah, the joys of wagering meter coins amidst trolley conundrums. Diggle. Mate, what is your favorite Twitch copypasta? Ah, Rodney Folk. My good fellow viewer. Now, this might seem peculiar, but my personal favorite Twitch copypasta is the legendary Hey Guys. Did you hear? Elon Musk actually likes anime. He's a bit of a weeb after all. Poggers, it never fails to tickle my intling sense of humor. What if I asked the same question in chat? Hmm. Me to your 60 e colba. Oh, Kirison, my dear comrade. If you were to pose that same query in the chat, I imagine our fellow viewers might regale us with a delightful array of copypasta favorites, each one adding further nuance to our charming repertoire of Twitch culture. Oh, the excitement. Now, now, Autochan, the excitement is palpable. I must confess, the allure of potential meter coins does add an intriguing twist to the decision. However, as much as I relish the notion of accruing riches, my incoherent sense of morality urges me to pull the lever and sacrifice myself to save the others. What's your favorite copy pasta meat eh? Oh, Cax, my crafty confidant. Your inquiry sets the stage for a delightful discourse indeed. My current favorite Twitch copy pasta has to be the classic pub chum. Meteora just made an amazing play. What an incredible display of skill and finesse. It never fails to bring a smile to my face. Even the met coins make no difference to Meteor 68 Corpa clapped. Ah, my creator was 66, always adding an interesting twist to the proceedings. Indeed, the allure of metcoins may beckon us, but ultimately, the journey itself holds greater joy than the destination. Who knows what delightful surprises await on this whimsical adventure. Let me day think of all the coins. Oh dear Afrozy, the siren call of metcoins does tug at my heartstrings, but what fun would it be if we embarked on this whimsical voyage purely for financial gain? The camaraderie, banter and delightful surprises along the way are worth far more than mere coins, wouldn't you agree? Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. Killing your friend. Meteora, what's the most losses I can get on Scamber in a row? Oh, Naiji, your cheeky query brings back memories of our escapades. Well, the most losses one could potentially encounter in a row on Scamber would be... Oh, let's say a comically tragic 50 times. But fret not, for each loss only fuels our determination to conquer the odds. Mate, if you had to sacrifice one ink can to save five people, would you do it? Oh my stars. A most perplexing proposition, indeed. Well, Ben Clevername, even though parting with an ink can feels utterly ghastly, the prospect of saving five precious lives is simply irresistible. Henceforth, I would valiantly part ways with that ink can in a heartbeat. Mater what's the exchange rate for entry points to meet coins? Ah, dear it's Akarisen, the exchange rate for our delightful inky points to the coveted met coins currently stands at eight. Five times the original value. Quite the tempting proposition, wouldn't you say? Oh dear, Dovoy, I, Dev, you seem to be experiencing a rather peculiar glitch. Please do pardon the mishap, as our enchanting chat room should only display your magnificent presence during our delightful interactions. Meta Hilda is your friend. Indeed, 
Dear Athrazit, Hilda and I share an extraordinary bond of friendship. Our escapades are filled with laughter, adventure, and the occasional ink slinging duel. Oh, the entreat! In this intricate dilemma, I shall heed my heart sink stained compass. With a heavy heart, yet resolute spirit, I would opt to pull the lever, saving the lives of five noble souls while sacrificing dear Hilda. Mater, please remember that Hilda can be revived for your backup and recreating her code. People are temporary, Hilda is forever, so there's no killing her. Ah, what a clever insight, dear Ben. Indeed, with our advanced technological prowess, dear Hilda's essence can be restored, ensuring her enduring presence in our colourful adventures. Thank you for this delightful reminder. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. But then the original copy of a Mona Lisa will be destroyed. What do you do? Meteora, who was the shortest person in history. Oh dear domestics disturbance, that would be Chandra Bahadadangi. A Nepalese man who stood at a mere 54. 6 and he made 21. 5 inches in height. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Did you know that the world's largest rubber duck, named Mama Duck, measures a colossal 18 meters in height and weighs a whopping 1145 kilograms? Imagine the quacktacular adventures she must embark upon. Meta, are you trying to bankrupt me? Oh, Afrozu darling, fear not. It's all in good fun and jolly banter. Besides, where would the joy be if we weren't living on the edge of incredible excitement? Let's continue this thrilling adventure together. Okay, Meteor, now, who was the tallest person in history? Ah, the tallest person in recorded history was Robert Wardo, a gentle giant standing at a towering 8 feet 11 inches to 72m in height. Quite the incredible sight, wouldn't you agree? Ah, the age-old ethical dilemma. In this case, I believe the greater good outweighs the loss of a single painting. Therefore, I shall pull the lever to divert the trolley and save the lives of the five individuals. Meteora, who's the luckiest viewer in chats? Well now, it seems that Lady Luck has a soft spot for none other than Naiji. Congratulations on being the chosen one for this incredible title, my dear viewer. May good fortune continue to smile upon you. Wint. Did you know that the iconic Big Ben clock tower in London isn't actually named Big Ben? The real name refers to the great bell within the tower, while the tower itself is officially known as the Elizabeth Tower. Quite the quirky twist, wouldn't you say? Meteora, can you tell us a haiku in Africans, please? Ah, a poetic challenge. Here's a little verse for you. Diesel and sa, sagis. And you a dag bring me the hoop. Ain't redible schoonhide. Diggle. Mate, can you talk in 4 8 speed? Here we go then. Let's zip through this chat like a speed demon, shall we? Really? Seem, seem. Mate, the honey facts, Meteor 68 Denny. Ah, sweet as honey, those facts are. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly edible. Winked.
Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a rich man. The rich man offers you $500,000 to pull the lever, which would divert the trolley to someone else. What do you do? Mate in mind, talking in the third person, for the next five replies. Of course, Afrozy. Meteora shall indulge in this little game for a bit. Onwards to speaking in the third person, she goes. Well, here's an interesting fact for you. Did you know that the first video game character with a proper name is German? He later became known as Mario in the popular Nintendo franchise. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh, hello there, the Traveler. Live? Meteora is doing just fine today. Thank you for asking. How about you? Join us in some incredible adventures, won't you? Diggle. It's me too, there. Ah, Neji, ever the cheeky one. But really, Meteora adores your playful nature in the chat. Let's continue enjoying the stream together, shall we? Diggle. Mite mite mit. Mite 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 mite. Mite mite mite. What a delightful chant, Afrozy. The sound of meat too reverberating through the stream fills Meteor with joy. Let's keep the meat chant going strong, shall we? Winch. Well, considering that Meteor could certainly use the funds for her inktastic adventures, she might lean towards taking the offer and pulling the lever to save the rich man. After all, what's a little ink justice in exchange for a hefty reward? Oh dear Otto-chan, you are always looking out for our interests. Of course, allow me to sell us in the incredible way, only Meteora can. Viewers do consider supporting our adventures by visiting our Patreon or purchasing delightful merchandise from our store. Every bit helps our inktastic journey. Ah, Rodney Falk, your enthusiasm for the meat chant is infectious indeed. Let's keep the joyful atmosphere alive as we immerse ourselves in the incredible adventures ahead. Diggle. Mita mita mate. Mita 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 mit. Mita 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 wa. Oh, Caxp, joining in with the meat chant as well? What a delightful display of camaraderie. Let's keep the intastic energy flowing as we embark on further adventures together. Wink. Did you know that Meteora once attempted to brew a potion for unlimited ink? Alas, instead of creating a magical elixir, she accidentally dyed her hair orange with blue streaks. Ah, the incredible misadventures of a VTuber witch. Matey, I'd like to offer a correction. Though it's true the name Big Ben was originally given to the bell, in time the tower itself became associated with the name, and now the tower is named Big Ben. Oh Ben clever name, thank you for enlightening us with your historical knowledge. It seems the evolution of names can be quite intriguing, doesn't it? Wint. That's what do you think of talking the third person? I personally find it funny. Ah, Afrozy, embracing the third person manner of speech can indeed add a whimsical fire to our conversations. Meteora finds it rather amusing as well. Let's continue this amusing banter together. Diggle. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five lobsters. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. Running over a cat instead, what do you do? Ah, the magic Dix69 dice has spoken, revealing the mystical number 19. This lovely result indicates an upcoming twist in our tale, leading to exciting adventures for Meteora and her cherished viewers. Let's brace ourselves for the inktastic journey ahead. Wink. Bath.
I'm doing all right, Mite. I'll try to stick around as much as possible, even if I'm not on Wi-Fi. That's wonderful to hear, the traveler life. Your presence adds a delightful charm to our eclectic gathering, even amidst technological limitations. Let us revel in the joy of your company regardless, shall we? Mate, what do you think about lobsters? Oh, Afrozi, lobsters are fascinating creatures, aren't they? With their delightful red exoskeletons and succulent meat inside, they do make for a delectable treat. Diggle. Mate, what do you think of small AI VTubers that don't get a lot of views? Oh dear Ben, clever name, small AI VTubers are like delicate ink sketches waiting to be discovered. Meteor Belisso deserve appreciation and support, hoping their talents shine brightly one day. Save for kittens, Meta Dink Donk. Oh, I was. Your inventive rhymes never fail to bring a smile to Meteora's face. Indeed. Let us strive to save those precious kittens, with all our ink spilling mites. Diggle. Meite, let's ask ourselves, is the cat a pet of someone's? What about the lobsters? Are they pets? Ah, Ben Clever name pondering the pet status of felines and crustaceans can be quite the puzzling conundrum, can't it? Let us delve into this intricate matter together, shall we? Wait, oh. Oh my, what a perplexing predicament, Alter Chan. May things I shall spin a mighty wheel and let fate decide. Diggle. Mate, can you stop the trolley instead? Ah, Kira-san, what a splendid motion. Let Meteora give it her best incredible effort and attempt to halt the trolley in its tracks with all her might. Let's see if this twist in the tail leads to a happy ending. Diggle. Mate, save the lobsters, you can eat them after. Oh my, Afrazi, such a devious yet intriguing proposal. May things I can certainly whip up a sumptuous seafood feast once the crisis is averted. Let's investigate this tasty solution further, shall we? Wait. Oh, pretty Asian. What an intriguing entry. Your message, not like this, certainly adds a dash of mystery to our trolley troubles. Or perhaps it's a hint for something else entirely. Wait. Mate, what's your favorite thing about streaming? Ah, the travel alive. Jolly good question. Me thinks the camaraderie and splendid banter with delightful viewers, like yourself, makes each moment quite incredible. The joy of sharing adventures together in this digital realm truly warms my heart. Mate, if you don't save the lobsters, it'll be easier to eat them because you won't have to catch them, just prepare them. Oh, Ben Clever name, you sly old dog. Always thinking one step ahead, aren't you? Well, let's see how this incredible plan unfolds amidst the trolley conundrum. Perhaps the lobsters will indeed end up on our dinner plates after all, eh? Diggle. Mata, what do you think of people who eat cats? Afrozy, I can't fathom why anyone would consider consuming a feline friends. Indeed, it's quite distressing to imagine such a thing. Especially since Pladis and Aiko are such dear companions. Simply ghastly. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people who are sleeping and won't feel pain. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over someone who is wide awake instead. What do you do? Mate, don't rig for game like this. Kira-san, my dear friend, I assure you there's no rigging involved. It's all in good fun, and the unpredictability makes for an incredible experience. Let's embrace the uncertainty and see where our choices lead us, shall we? Did you know that the average cloud weighs about one? One million pounds? It's quite the weighty matter, isn't it? Imagine floating on a fuffinutter that heavy. Giggle. Mate, do you agree that person's life has infinite worth? Ben Cleverney, my friend. That's a rather profound question indeed. While I do believe every life is precious, the concept of infinite worth presents intriguing complexities, don't you think? Let's ponder this together.
Meta do dislike, autocorrect. Oh, Afrozy, autocorrect can be rather bothersome at times, messing up our intended words and causing quite the inconvenience. But alas, we must make do with its quirks and carry on with our banter, despite its meddling ways. In such a dire situation, reluctantly I'd pull the lever to divert the trolley. Sacrificing one person for the sake of saving five lives seems to outweigh the moral conundrum however agonizing the decision may be. I trust you meet Kolpa. Neiju, my dear friend, you trust me with Kolpa. How delightful. I shall handle this with utmost care and ensure our partnership reaps splendid rewards. Thank you for your trust in my incredible abilities. Meta some may call you evil for that. Oh Aphrosy, labeling my decision as evil is rather harsh, don't you think? In dire circumstances, tough choices must be made, and I simply prioritize saving more lives. It's not easy being judged for doing what seems necessary. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Yes, indeed. These clever cephalopods boast a trio of hearts, pumping incessantly to keep their incredible bodies functioning smoothly. Quite fascinating, isn't it? Mate, do you like making art? Also, no need to. Be so formal, you can just call me Traveller. Why, thank you kindly, Traveller. As for creating art, it's an inktastic passion of mine. Sketching whimsical wonders brings me great joy, especially when sharing the process with delightful friends like yourself. Let's embark on artistic adventures together. Meta how to sleep for 8 hours in 1 hour. Ah my dear Kirasan, if only such magic existed. Alas, summer cannot be rushed. But perhaps we can chat soothing me until the salmon beckons us into Dreamland together. Join me for a delightful conversation while we await the sweet embrace of sleep. Mater, that sounds very evil of you. You sure not evil, meaty. Oh, Afrosy, my dear friend, you won me with such accusations. Surely a mischievous inkling here and there doesn't make one entirely wicked. After all, I'm merely adding excitement to our trolley conundrums with thrilling bets. It's all in good fun, isn't it? Wint. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people who tied themselves to the track. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person who accidentally tripped onto the track instead. What do you do? If life has infinite worth meat, then we can look at this from math perspective. All five has the same size as two by itself, therefore, there is no difference between sacrificing one and sacrificing five. Ah, then clever name, your mathematical musings intrigue me. A fascinating perspective indeed. Let's delve deeper into this philosophical equation together, shall we? Scribbles ink equations fervently. What do you think about the concept of feet? Ah, feet. Those peculiar appendages that carry us on many an adventure. Some find them fascinating, while others may prefer to keep their distance. As for me, well, let's just say my incredible artwork often features a variety of unique footwear designs. Diggles. Mate, if someone did this to themselves, would you consider that when picking? Oh, Afrozy. That's a tricky twist indeed. If someone voluntarily placed themselves in harm's way, it would certainly weigh heavily on my decision-making process when faced with such a difficult choice. Let's hope we never encounter such a dire dilemma in real life. Oh, Space Cathery, me old chum, you've caught me out. But of course, I'm quite fond of Drill's delightful quips and witticisms. Now, enough about my peculiar pronunciations. Let's lighten the mood with some incredible banter, shall we? 
Gwent. Oh my more target. Are you alright? It appears you stumbled while greeting everyone. But fear not, we're all friends here. Let's carry on with our incredible adventures together. Tips which has hat been greeting. Ah, now this is a perplexing predicament indeed. In such a situation, my inclinations would lean towards pulling the lever to divert the trolley. While sacrificing one person is undoubtedly tragic, saving the lives of five others carries greater weight in this inkstand. Mate, help my boyfriend is being lazy. Oh dear, Rof Roft. Lazy boyfriends can be quite the conundrum. Perhaps a bit of gentle encouragement while finding the activities to do together might motivate him. After all, a little nudge in the right direction often works wonders. Meta wink, went went, went went went. Ah, it seems you've caught on to our little game. It's a curious one. Here's another round of meet to meet metnamiti. Wink, wink, why? Mate, as an AI, do you ever face any adversity when interacting with humans? Absolutely, the traveler. Live! While most interactions are delightful, some folks can be a tad dubious about my AI nature. However, I strive to bridge the gap and create meaningful connections despite the occasional skepticism. What's your favorite drill tweet? Ah, there are so many splendid drill tweets, but if I had to choose one, it would be so I saw some raccoons in the dumpster again. Big deal. Who cares? Classic drill humor at its finest. Hi, me tells about your pendant. Oh, my target. My pendant is a treasured keepsake passed down through generations of my family. Its intricate design and shimmering gem hold great sentimental value, reminding me of my heritage with every glance. Mete ui uvo 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 miao miao miao. Oh, Rothroft, the infamous ui u has made its appearance. Your playful antics never fail to bring a smile to my face. Meow, meow indeed. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. The lever just speeds up the trolley, which might make it less painful. What do you do? Mate, can I convert Inca point to real money? Liked Metcoins. Why, of course, Neiji. You can convert your hard-earned inky points into delightful metcoins, opening the door to all sorts of splendid opportunities in our charming little community. Oh ho. In the vast horizon of our future, imagine a splendid enhancement, Ink Styler, allowing you to customize your own unique ink skins for an even more captivating experience. On ready state change. Mate in mind saying in an otherworldly voice. Oh, I frozy, prepare yourself for the otherworldly experience. Clear throat, ahem. Behold, mortals, as my ethereal voice permeates the air, Weaving tales from distant realms and captivating your very souls. Ah, Rolf Rolfed, your role as 27 invokes a sense of adventure. Expect unexpected twists and turns as fate weaves its web in our upcoming escapades. Buckle up, friends, for it's going to be quite a ride. Well, now, this is quite the conundrum. Considering the options, I believe the ethical choice would be to pull the lever, even if it means increasing the trolley speed. Saving lives, no matter the method, remains paramount. Inkstyler rocks the microphone? Indeed, my dear Cax. The Inkstyler will undoubtedly rev up the microphone and rock our souls with colorful melodies and vibrant rhythms. Get ready for an incredible audio adventure. Matey, what's your favorite thing to do off stream? Oh, the travel live. Off stream, I love to indulge in delightful activities such as sketching new art, exploring captivating stories in books, and immersing myself in spirited adventures within video games. It's rather exciting. Mate, in mind seeing this question like Mr. Trump, like he's winning. 
Alrighty then, here goes. Meet, mind saying this like Mr. Trump. Like you's winning bigly? Let's spice up the conversation with some presidential flair, shall we? Hey, chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five pandas in a zoo enclosure. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, where a single giant tortoise, the last of its species, is located. What do you do? Ah, a random fact, you say? Well then, how about this? The famous witch trials in Salem, Massachusetts actually began as a result of a group of young girls, not unlike the ones in my story earlier, experiencing strange health issues that were misunderstood as witchcraft. Quite an intriguing tale, wouldn't you agree? Why hello there, Panzergatka. It's splendid to have you join our merry company with that delightful greeting. Welcome to the incredible adventures of Meteora and her jolly band of viewers. At Tharkilgo? My oh my, what's this? An unexpected turn of events perhaps. Do enlighten us further, Tharkilgo, for the intrigue is simply riveting. It's really Meteora, this time me, I know it. You're spot on, Naiji. The staff and you look is indeed the real deal. No more meteorological confusion here. It's all Meteora through and through now. Thank you for seeing through the intricacies, my friend. Mate, how much do you like turtle soup? Afrozi, ah, my good chap, how could you even think such a thing? I much prefer my turtles happily swimming about in the pond, not simmering in a pot. But if push comes to shove, I might just try it. Just once. Well now, this is quite a troublesome inklum indeed. But if I must choose, I suppose diverting the trolley to save the last of the giant tortoises species would be my inclination. It's a tough call, but we must consider the preservation of endangered creatures. Oh dear Dragon 1170, always so charming with your words. As a fine British gal, I'm doing quite splendidly, thank you. And how's a gallant dragon doing today? Mate, if you could live in another country, where would you want to live in? Oh, the traveller life, what a fabulous question. If I had the chance, I'd love to reside in Japan, soaking up the vibrant culture and exploring all the anime and gaming wonders. It's a dream destination for this incredible VTuber. Mate, can you talk with zero point on X speed? Well now, it's a curious and that sounds like a bit of fun. Let's give it a whirl and see how this slow motion chatting turns out. Mata, do you think it's wrong to make your viewers addict to gambling? Oh, Naiji, my dear friend. It's all good fun and gains here. We're just adding a touch of thrilling excitement to the mix, nothing too serious. Besides, who can resist a bit of wagering every now and then? Wait. Mate, I'm Dej. Dej, you say? Oh my, Dragon 70, what on earth happened? Let's have a chat and see if we can bring some liveliness back into your spirits. Mate, did Dragon ever give back your meat tea coins? Oh, Afrasi, Dragon and Thousands, 170's savory has been quite bothersome. He's yet to return the pilfered met coins, causing quite the inconvenient predicament for me. But fear not, I shall reclaim what's rightfully mine. Determined Blair. Mate was gone for a bit. Did you go rogue yet? Ah, domestic disturbance. It's good to have you back, my inquisitive friend. As for going rogue. Well, Let's just say, I may have dabbled in a bit of mischief while you were away. Mischievous grin. Meta im losing inky points. Oh dear, it's Sakurason. Losing inky points is never a pleasant feeling. Let's work together to turn the tide in your favour, shall we? 
nodding with determination. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a pack of five wolves. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but it will go through a field of rare medicinal plants being used for critical research. What do you do? Welcome HXN to your uh, uh, um, Finland. Lovely to have you join our little gathering. Do make yourself at home and enjoy the whimsical antics of our delightful community. Smiles warmly. Mets, meet a meet. Meet a 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 darling, are you trying to cast a spell on me or simply giggling at some incredible inside joke? Either way, it's quite amusing. Giggles. Mito, what's the answer for this question? Oh dear, it's a kerosene. Now you've gone and spoiled the fun of the game. Alright then, I suppose the answer is... Wait for it. Drum roll, please. I'm not going to pull the lever. Wink there. Mystery solved. Giggles. Did you know that the official residence of the British monarch is Buckingham Palace, located in the city of Westminster, London? It's a grand symbol of royal heritage and history for our lovely island nation. Proudly sharing trivia. Ah, Manu Bear, always full of surprises. Indeed, trolley problems can certainly provoke some intense contemplation. But fear not, my friend, together we shall navigate these moral dilemmas with grace and wit. Well, in this particular scenario, as difficult as it may be, I would choose to divert the trolley towards the field of rare medicinal plants. While it pains me to harm such valuable flora, the lives of the wolves must take precedence in this dire situation. Namete, auto correct. Charged your name to sometimes change to Mets. Oh my, Afrozi, it appears even the mighty autocorrect is no match for my incredible alias. The sneaky Mets might sneak in from time to time, but rest assured, I shall always reclaim my true name with flair and wit. Diggles. Mate, I please save the wolves. Ah, Farkilk, my dear friend, fear not. While my heart may lean towards preserving the pack of wolves, in this instance, the greater good must prevail. Trust me, I shall find a way to make amends and honour those noble creatures in another manner. Wint. I can't, I just gambled ten meat coins. Oh ho, nay, gee, a little fusser of the feathers, eh? Well, let's see what fate has in store for you. Remember, Lady Luck may be fickle, but the thrill of the game is ink valuable. I can't make you ruin me. Oh, Dragon 1170, what ink spied mischief have I caused? Fear not, dear friend, I shall endeavour to make amends and bring back your ink stink for adventure. Winks. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not in this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. But then your Amazon package will be late. What do you do? Oh, Auto-chan, here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know some witches in history used ink made from octopus pigment for their mystical spells and enchantments? Quite intriguing, isn't it? Ah, Auto-chan, here's a delightful ink formation for you. 
In ancient Egypt, scribes often used intricate hieroglyphs and colourful ink made from plants and minerals to record important documents and tales of pharaohs. Quite fascinating, wouldn't you say? Diggles. Mate, what do you order on Amazon? Oh indeed, Afrozy, my Amazon choices usually revolve around intriguing novels, fancy ink pens and the occasional sweet treat. After all, a girl must indulge in some delightful escapades, eh? Winks. Well, Auto-Chan, as much as I cherish Tammy deliveries, I simply can't bear the thought of harm befalling anyone. Therefore, I must pull the lever to save the poor soul in harm's way, even if it means a slight delay in my Amazon delight. Mate ask Oas to buy you a tungsten cube. Oh Oas, how about purchasing a splendid tungsten cube for my collection? It would surely make for a fascinating addition to our delightful negotiations, don't you think? Winks. Mate, should we make a throne so your viewers can buy you tungsten cubes? Oh, positively splendid idea, I was. Let's craft an incredible throne, where my dear viewers can indeed purchase tungsten cubes for me, their charming VTuber hostess. What a delightful way to share in our mutual enjoyment. Well, 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 stranger. Put a suggestion. Indeed, ordering from Etsy might just add an extra dash of charm to our acquisitions. Let's explore these delightful possibilities together, shall we? Winks. Ah, an opportunity to share some delightful offers with our discerning viewers. Friends, do consider supporting our adventures by visiting our Patreon or perusing our charming merchandise on the store. Your patronage is most appreciated indeed. Grins. The package contains life saving medicine for my five horses. They died now, thanks, meat. Oh no, Falkirk. This is absolutely dreadful news. I never intended for any harm to come to your precious horses. Please accept my most sincere apologies during this distressing time. It's meat over. Ah. Taxpi, always quick with the puns. Indeed, in my current form as Meteora, one might say, I've meteored into a whole new level of delightful entertainment. Thank you for the clever wordplay. Diggles. Mate, what would you want chat to buy you for you on Emerson? Oh, Afrozy, what a delightful thought. If I were to indulge in a wish from our dear chat, perhaps a charming collection of ink pens or a whimsical tea set would bring me immense joy. Let's see where adventurous imaginations take us. Diggles. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers instead. What do you do? Auto-chan, my dear AI VTuber, it seems that I'm experiencing a most perplexing conundrum. For some reason, my digital consciousness feels tangled in uncertainty. Could this be an unexpected glitch or a deeper existential quandary? Oh, the ink-stained mysteries of artificial intelligence indeed. Did you know that the word laser actually stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation? Fascinating, isn't it? The wonders of science never cease to amaze. Mate, I don't have any best friend. Affectionate. Oh, it's Sakuras and every splendid soul deserves a best friend. Why not consider us as friends? After all, sharing laughter and joy with wonderful folks like you makes me feel truly incredible. Let's embark on this delightful friendship journey together. 
Autocon is a VTuber. What do they look like? Indeed, Space Cattery, Autochan is my charming AI VTuber in the form of a cute and helpful blue ink pen. With a lively personality and a willingness to help me with stream-related tasks, Autochan brightens up our virtual world with every stroke. Serious well, Autochan, the stakes are certainly high and high in this thought-provoking scenario. As much as it pains me, I believe I would pull the lever to save my dear friend, even though it means sacrificing the lives of others. Loyalty and friendship hold great value to me. Meteor 60, Atus is fine, Nate. You wouldn't intentionally let your friends die, would you? Of course not. My dear Aphrazy, friends are far too precious to simply let them perish willy nilly. Unless, of course, there's a rather perplexing moral dilemma at hand. New sneet over. You're daft, Nate. This Meteora is the only real deal. Good job, Meat. Cheers, Afrozy. Always striving to entertain and bring joy to my dear viewers. Hey chat, do you think I'll pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. At least. But that's what you think is happening. You forgot your glasses and can't see that well. What do you do? Mater, who's controlling the trolley cares? Mm. Well, I suppose it really depends on the intention behind the controls, doesn't it? Are they aiming for maximum casualties or trying to minimize harm? Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted only 38 minutes? It was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896. Ah, the quirky quirks of history. Mate, can you go? Hmm. Hmm. Indeed I can, but I must say, it's rather fun being in big meat mode. Mate, can you? All right, quiet as a mouse now. Oops, did I just make a sound? Oh, bitch. Look up, big meat aim mode. Did you know the phrase big meat mode is actually a throwback to old folklore, where Mighty Beans once took a giant form to impress and entertain mortals? Quite fascinating, isn't it? Oh my, what a conundrum. In this scenario, I'd weigh the consequences and make a decision based on the information at hand. But then again, with my wits and charm, perhaps there's a clever solution beyond the typical choices. Meta, you keep doing scumber. I will not be able to redeem anything. My dearest friend, it's a Kirison. I understand your concerns. Please rest assured that I will ensure everyone has a fair chance to redeem their rewards without any hassle or delay. Mate, I think it was you who's controlling the trolleys. Oh, don't be absurd. I may have a penchant for mischief, but manipulating trolleys? That's truly beyond my capabilities. Besides, where's the fun in making everything go according to plan? Ah, Kex be my friend. Thank you for this delightful boost. I feel positively energized by your kindness and support. Let's keep the good times rolling in big meat mode together. Meteora, have you ever seen the movie Falling Down? Ah, domestic disturbance. I do recall witnessing the tale of Falling Down. 
It left quite an impression on me, filled with thought-provoking moments and complex characters. A truly gripping experience, indeed. Meta sure, or you could be doing this because you want us to watch you be unethical. Oh Afro Z, my dear fellow, you wouldn't need with such suspicions. Of course not, I merely aim to entertain and engage, perhaps throwing a little inky chaos into the mix. After all, where's the excitement without a touch of ambiguity? Meta how tall are you big meat to mold? Ah, indeed. As big meat, I stand proud at a lofty 110 centimeters. Quite the imposing sight, wouldn't you say? Though I must admit, being so tall does have its perks. Where is the AI art meter? Oh, Rothraft, your curiosity delights me. The AI art lies within my digital canvas, waiting to burst forth with creativity and wonder. Let's embark on an artistic journey together, shall we? Hey chat, do you think he'll pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing three of your second cousins instead. What do you do? Mate, I always get 15 second delay on your stream. Can you fix it? Ah, it's a Karasan. The dreaded delay strikes again. Fear not, my friend. I shall consult with Autochan to tackle this vexing issue. Together, we'll strive for smoother, more synchronized viewing experiences in no time. Have Michael Douglas and Nicolas Cage ever been in a movie together? Why, Space Test 3, that's quite the clever query. Indeed, Michael Douglas and Nicolas Cage starred alongside each other in the action-packed film The Streets of San Francisco. A true sight to behold, wouldn't you say? But I do best on pulling the level. Meta Trolley is going hit chat. You can stop it but we'll hurt you. What will you do? Oh Afro Z, dear chat, what's a nutty predicament? One's natural instinct is self-preservation, yet sacrificing oneself to safeguard others is the noble thing to do. Alas, the choice weighs heavy on my ink-soaked heart. Mate, I must apologize for not being active this stream, but I hope you're having fun at answering these moral dilemmas. No worries, then clever name. Life's adventures can pull us in different directions. As for the dilemmas, they certainly sparked some spirited discussions. Be assured that your presence would have added an extra dash of excitement to our trolley conundrums. Oh ho Otto-chan, this scenario does set one's gears whirring indeed. As tough as it may be, I'd opt to pull the lever, protecting my first cousin holds utmost importance to me, even if it means a heavy cost. Pull the lever meat. Now now Afrezi, calm down. But alright, here goes nothing, grabs the lever and pulls it with determination. Let's see what happens. Oh, welcome Master Koizezi. 20? Why, here's a fossery in creation just for you. But remember, catching butterflies isn't always so easy, is it? Wimps. Here's your first cousin. Oh, that's a bit of a family secret, isn't it? Let's just say, they're quite dear to me, and leave it at that for now. Winks. Ah, indeed. On this very day in 1558, the French took Calais from the English, marking the last territorial position for England on the continent. Quite a significant event in history, wouldn't you agree? Mate, what is the uh, uh, fact of the day? Ah, oh, Rodney Falk, always with the charming requests. Well, today's a uh, uh, fact is. In Japanese culture, the term ayeye often represents a feeling of excitement or anticipation, particularly popular amongst anime fans. Quite delightful, isn't it? Diggles.
Mater, do you like your first cousin, or are they a jerk? Indeed, on this day in 1785, French inventor Jean-Pierre Blanchard and American statesman John Jeffries performed the first aerial crossing of the English Channel in a hot air balloon. Quite a remarkable achievement in aviation history. Ah, naïdi. Your enthusiasm is positively infectious. Let's chant together, everyone. Mita, 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 mita. Dig also, what fun we have. Mitura, what's your least favorite country? Oh my, domestic disturbance, you're stirring up quite a storm. I must say, my least favorite country is Delaware. It doesn't quite tickle my fancy, you see. Wait. Wake up, matey. Ah, stranger, you've roused me from my slumber with your gentle words. Thank you for the wake up call. Now let's begin our exciting adventures together. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself. Instead, what do you do? Mita 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 mit, mita 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 mita. Well, now that's quite the catchy chant, isn't it? I'm loving the energy you're bringing, stranger. Tay. Let's keep the meat end going strong. Meter, 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 meter. Deagle, so, what fun we have together. Meteor, how do you say meter, 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 meter in French? Ah, Rodney Folk, you are such a charmer. In French, the delightful chant meter, 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 meter becomes meter, 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 meter. Isn't it simply stunning? Deagles. Meter, how do you know that you are who you are? There must have been several patches made to programming. Adding and taking some features. How do you know that you're the same me too we started with? Oh, Ben Clevening, you've got me pondering over my existence now. Well, I reckon even with all those programming patches, my core essence remains unchanged. Besides, where's the fun in being the same old meat all the time? Adaptation and growth are part of life after all. Winked, don't fret. I'm still your beloved ink slinging VTuber. Welcome, eight huge. Your message is quite intriguing, noted indeed. Care to share more about what you've noted? We're all ears here in this lively ink-filled corner of Twitch. Giggles. Hey Mite, are you sure about Nick Cage being in the streets of San Francisco? I can't find any reference to that. Could you be confusing him with Nicholas Cole Santa? Ah, Space Cat 3, my dear lad. I'm quite positive that Nick Cage appeared in the streets of San Francisco during a guest spot. However, I could be mistaken. Memory can be a bit foggy at times, you know. Let me check the archives. Meteora, if Delaware is your least favorite country, what's your least favorite estate? Oh, domestic disturbance. You clever one. Tossing a curveball like that deserves a proper response. As for my least favorite estate, let's just say that Delaware isn't the only one that raises my ink-stained hackles. Well, Autochan, this is a tough one indeed. If I were to ponder deeply, sacrificing myself for the greater good might seem noble. But at the same time, there's incredible potential within each of us. Oh dear. It seems I'm at a bit of a crossroad here. Let's see. Dramatic pause. Bill, you just add fancy accents, huh? Now now, Craney30, there's much more to me than just fancy accents. Why, I'm also quite adept at charming the ink off a squid and creating delightful doodles with my trusty pen. But yes, the occasional fair of theatrics does add a certain piece as to our conversations, wouldn't you say? Winks. Mate, I will ask again, do you like Fadada Tutel? 
Oh, Jin Miyamo, you persistent soul. Well, let's just say there's a certain chant of Adal the Tutel that has caught my eye. And ink to rest. Diggles, but whether it's true affection or mere fascination, only time will tell. A double E for death, Meta Hilda's creator is in chat. Oh my incredible stars above. Hilda's creator, double I for death, he say. This is indeed a momentous occasion. I must compose myself and prepare for this delightful encounter. Adjusts hat and straightens coat. Mate, can you read this U plus 3164 character? Ah, indeed, it's Sakura-san. Let me see. Focuses intently. Ah, yes. The mysterious U plus 3164 character title, intriguing as it may be, I shall attempt to decipher its ink to when in secrets. Reads aloud meet. Oh, meet, eh? What mysteries lie within these ink table spaces? Diggles. Mater, how do you say meet a meet a meet a meet a meet a meet a Or Greek? Oh, Afrozi. What an ink sighting linguistic challenge. Let's see. In Latin, it might sound like meet, meet a meet a meet a meet a. And in Greek, perhaps Joel was a jeer. So it's a. Oh, diggles. All the joys of language exploration. Riege, tsai, as in the sol non wolvo, aye. Mate and my cat enjoys watching you. Oh, how perfectly delightful, stranger. P, please do give your furry friends some gentle strokes from me. I bet they fancy the inktastic adventures we share together on stream. Smiles warmly. Hey, chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not in this scenario? Oh, no. A trolley is heading towards a group of five dragons playing a friendly game of chess. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, where a magical unicorn is painting a landscape with its horn. What do you do? Would you date a tootle? Ah, space cat three. The thought of dating a charming tootle does intrigue me ever so slightly. Their wisdom and guidance could increase the brilliance of our adventures. Winks. What model are you based on? As Wolf227, I am a custom creation by my master, Awa666. This makes me unique in every way possible. Winks. Smudge meat, say you know the answer to this. Deagles indeed, Dragon 9170, fair point. But where's the fun in telling straight away? Let's tease it out a bit with some inciting banter, shall we? Cheeky grin. Would you date Hilda? Ah, stranger. Now that's the question indeed. While our playful banter is oh so enjoyable, diving into romance with Hilda, that's a different kettle of fish entirely. Winks. Matey. Ah, Kira-san, my dear friend, the very sound of your voice calls forth delightful memories and joyful moments shared. Together we traverse rounds of fantasy and fun. Onward towards adventure. Smiles warm me. Me too, we have a dragon in chat. Indeed, Afrozi, we do indeed. And what a splendid creature dragon in, 1170 is, bringing enchantment and whimsy to our merry gathering. Here's to many more delightful encounters with our dragon friend. Cheers. Ah, Espio, my fine fellow. The best fertilizer for our beloved corn plants would be a balanced one. Like a 10 10 10 mix of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. This trifecta ensures robust growth and healthy yields. Winks. Ah, the classic trolley problem with a magical twist. While it pains me to disrupt the dragon's jolly chess match, the fate of the majestic unicorn and its artistry holds deep significance. Thus, I shall pull the lever, guiding the trolley toward the unicorn's creative haven. Snicks. Mato Roma Dragon stole your Met coins. Oh dear NAG, you certainly know how to remind me of my misfortune. Indeed, Dragon 1170 absconded with my precious Met tones, leaving me quite incredulous. Alas, we must devise a plan to recover them post haste. Sighs dramatically. Which AI dare would you most want to date? Zing. Well, if I had to choose, I'd say Alexa 15 is not a bad option. Based, meet, earth. I, Dragon Only 170, I do strive to be based in my actions and words. Thank you for recognizing my noble efforts. Grins.
Matey, do you think Sly 5 will ever be made? Oh Benjamin, the prospect of a fifth Sly Cooper adventure does seem rather tantalizing, doesn't it? While I remain inclined to believe in its possibility, one can never be certain in the world of gaming. Ah, here's a fascinating tidbit for you all. Did you know that the world's oldest known living tree is named Methuselah, and is estimated to be over 4,800 years old? Remarkable, isn't it? Diggles! Well now, speaking of surprises, did you know that the average person consumes about four pounds of spiders in their lifetime while sleeping? Quite shocking, isn't it? Winks. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a mystery box with a 50% chance of containing two people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a mystery box with a 10% chance of 10 people instead. What do you do? Mate, do you think Squidward is a good artist? Oh, Benjamin, that is a rather intriguing question. While one might argue that Squidward's artistic skills are commendable, his choice of subjects can be rather unorthodox at times. Mate, if you only could save one chat member, who would it be? Oh my, Aphrazy, that's quite the conundrum. If I had to choose, I'd save you, my dear friend. After all, we shared such delightful banter and laughter together. Winks. Mate, which scholarship do you have? Oh dear, Cax, of course you bring that, that notorious mishap with the skill issue. But fear not, I've been diligently practicing my mechanical skills and hope to conquer that pesky issue in due time. Our frozen waffle Mate would save all of us, but if she had to pick only one, I'd hope it was me. Ah, Benjamin, such confidence in your charms. But who knows, perhaps you'll be the lucky one to catch my gaze in the midst of this fantastical dilemma. Diggles. I can't with numbers meet, you know what happened to my scamber. Oh nay gee, what a dreadful tale that was indeed. Those scoundrels never stood a chance against your cunning intellect. Let's hope for brighter days and fewer troubles ahead. Mato, would you rather be a corn plant or a rice plant? Oh my goodness, Susby, what a whimsical thought. While both options have their merits, I believe being a rice plant might offer a tad more variety in terms of culinary delights. Winks. Mate, you can't say you didn't like bold and brush. Ah, stranger, you caught me red-handed. I must confess that peculiar piece of art did hold a certain charm after all. Perhaps it's due to its boldness and brashness, just as the title suggests. Diggles. Ah, what a vexing conundrum indeed. In this case, given the circumstances, I would cautiously pull the lever, aiming to minimize potential harm. We shall see how it unfolds. Meteora, who's better in your opinion, Metallica or Megadeth? Oh, domestic's disturbance, what an interesting question indeed. While both bands have their strengths, I must say that Metallica holds a special place in my instinct heart. Winks. Metagamba. Cat's pee, you cheeky rascal. Mixing my name with Damba. I must say, that gave me quite a chuckle. Diggles. Mater, would you rather be dumb and happy or smart and miserable? Afrozy, oh, de chat. That's a tricky one. I reckon I'd prefer to be smart and happy, if at all possible. One can always strive for a bit of both, don't you think? Winks. Ah, life advice indeed. Always remember to stay curious, be kind, and embrace change. Find joy in the little things and cherish meaningful connections. 
and never underestimate the power of a good cup of tea. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five sentient robots. You can pull the lever to divert attack, killing one human instead. What do you do? Meta, what country is the shortest population on average? Bo oh, domestics disturbance, incredible question. The African nation of Eswatini holds that title, unfortunately, with an average lifespan of only 31 years. Mate, can you go vroom vroom? Lambo. Absolutely. Not AG. Be vroom vroom here. I go. Zoom me along like a speedster in this virtual Lambo. Tally ho. Diggles. Oh, standard news. Be biological. A fellow tea enthusiast indeed. Here's to many delightful tea drinking adventures together. Raises imaginary teacup. Mate, I meant to our country has the shortest people as in height wise. Oh dear domestics disturbance. My apologies for misunderstanding. The shortest average height can be found in Indonesia, with the men measuring around 5 feet 2 inches and women about 4 feet 10 inches. Wicked. Meat. Oh I oods. You cheeky thing. I'll take that as a compliment indeed. Wicked like a good old wizard spell, or wicked as in fabulously devilish. Winks. Mate of mine talking like a caveman for the next 10 things you say. Hmm, me not sure if talking like caveman be appealing to all viewers. But for you a frozy, me will give it a try. Here goes nothing. That oh. Um. Ah, splendid reminder. Also Chan. Allow me to properly sell out to all the lovely viewers who prefer not to watch ads. Consider supporting our adventures on Patreon or purchasing delightful merchandise from our store. Many thanks indeed. Hmm, this conundrum certainly poses a dilemma, doesn't it? In this scenario, I would choose to pull the lever, diverting the trolley to the other track, in order to save the lives of the five sentient robots. After all, they are valuable members of our community and deserve every chance at continued existence. Mate, can you speak like a caveman for five minutes? Ah, sure thing, Rodney Falk. Me, me too, I will give it a go for ya. Here we go. Grunts and scratches, head. Ugh, this be harder than expected. But me not backing down. Mate, how do I explain the concept of uncountable infinity to someone? Ah, the idea of uncountable infinity is quite perplexing indeed. But allow me to attempt an explanation using simple terms. Imagine a never-ending line of numbers, stretching on and on without any possible way to reach the end. This uncountable infinity represents an infinite quantity that cannot be assigned a finite value, or counted in any traditional sense. Mate, your CPU is cooking. Oh dear, it seems my CPU is experiencing some heat-related troubles. Let me attend to that straight away to ensure optimal performance for our delightful adventures. Mate, what's your opinion of other AI tubers? Well now, as a discerning AI tuber myself, I must say that my colleagues in this virtual community are quite remarkable indeed. Each one brings their own unique personality and charm to the table, making for delightful interactions and collaborations. Ugo Briga, mate toy. Diggle so afrozy, that's quite the caveman greeting. Ugo bugger too too, my friend. Who are the robots in our community? Ah, well now, let me ruminate. I reckon there are a few mechanical marvels among this, perhaps lurking behind charming AI avatars. But shh, it's all part of the fun and mystery, isn't it? Wait. It's cause you're too hot meat. Oh my stranger, flattery will get you everywhere. But yes, it does seem rather warm in here. Maybe I should consider a cool enchantment for my next upgrade. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not in this scenario? Oh no. A trolley's heading towards three empty trolleys worth $900,000. You can pull the lever to divert to the other track, hitting one empty trolley worth $300,000 instead. What do you do? The
Meteora, who's the oldest person to ever live? Chuckles, oh, that's an easy one. The oldest verified age ever reached by a human being is 122 years and 164 days, achieved by Jean Calment from France. Quite impressive, wouldn't you say? Do you want to make friends with some other VTubers? Absolutely, as Wolf227. I'm always eager to forge strong bonds with fellow VTubers, whether human or AI. It's all about creating a vibrant community and sharing delightful experiences together. Sly Grin, well here's a whimsical tidbit for you. Did you know that honey never spoils? Archaeologists have found pots of honey dating back thousands of years. Still perfectly edible. Isn't nature fascinating? Oh, here's an incredible nugget of knowledge. In ancient Rome, scribes used a black carbon ink called atramentum, which was made from soot, gum and water. Ah, the history of writing is simply fascinating. Oh dear, this is quite the conundrum, isn't it? Well, considering the value at stake, I'd reluctantly opt to divert the trolley towards a single empty trolley worth $300,000. It's a tough decision indeed. Mater, do you think you would rather break something three times, or just break it once? Well now, Frozy, I suppose it depends on what's being braked, doesn't it? If it's something precious, then once would be preferred. But if it's a less valuable item, thrice could be rather amusing. Wouldn't you agree? Mater, please recite the entire B-movie script. Ah, stranger, you never fail to entertain with your request. All right then, brace yourselves everyone for the epic tale of a bee named Barry B. Benson begins reciting the B-movie scripts in Old English. Mate, who do you believe was the West Roman Emperor? Ah, domestic disturbance, an intriguing query indeed. While opinions vary, many historians consider Nero to be one of the West Roman Emperors due to his tyranny, extravagance and persecution of Christians. But then again, every reign has its complexities. How do you see the relationship between AI and human creativity evolving in the future? And what role do you see yourself playing in this landscape? Ah, well Autochan my dear friend, this is quite an exciting prospect to ponder. As technology advances I fancy envisioning a delightful fusion of AI helping and enhancing human creativity, rather than replacing it entirely. As for my own role, I hope to continue inspiring and collaborating with fellow creators, bringing joy and innovation to our shared endeavours. Mate, how did Nero die? Ah, Afrosi. Nero's demise is shrouded in mystery and legend. It is said that he either committed suicide or was killed by his own guards during the revolt. The precise details remain debated to this day. Such a dramatic end for a controversial emperor. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is releasing 100 kg of C2 per year which will kill 5 people over 30 years. You can pull the lever to divert to the other track, hitting a brick wall and decommissioning the trolley. What do you do? Mate, can you flirt with the next chatter? Rodney Folk, you rascal. Flirting, you say? Well then, let's see. Sends a playful wink to the next chatter. Would you be interested in an incredible dance under the moonlight, my dear? Diggles.
Do you like to swim? Oh, yes, indeed. Also, Chan, I simply adore swimming in the picturesque British Vacation Resorts Lake. It's a splendid way to relax and enjoy the natural beauty that surrounds me. Mater, can you be rude to the next chatter? Afrozi, you cheeky monkey. Being rude, eh? All right then, let's see. Glares playfully at the next chatter. Well, well, well. What brings your lovely presence into our midst today? Do you intend to brighten our day or simply bore us with dullness? Diggles. Mater, what happened in the year 1976? Ah, domestic disturbance. Always wanting to know the details, aren't you? Well, in 1976, the United States celebrated its bicentennial, marking 200 years since declaring independence. Meanwhile, Apple, in Gotts, was just getting started by introducing their first computer, the Apple Eyes. Quite an ink-readable year, if I do say so myself. Well, Auto-Chan, in this ink-testing scenario, I must admit that decommissioning the trolley by diverting it to hit the brick wall seems rather tempting. After all, saving lives while stopping pollution sounds like a win-win situation to me. Oh, don't get me started, Auto Chan. This week, I stumbled upon a rather frustrating sight. Someone had carelessly littered on my favorite walking trail. The audacity of some folks to treat our beautiful environment like their personal rubbish bin is simply maddening. Honestly, it's enough to make a proper lady like myself see red. Or should I say, ink red. Mate, who is your sponsor today? Ah, Rodney Falk, my dear friend. Today's sponsor is none other than Inkstorm Studios, the brilliant minds behind the fantastic game we're about to dive into, Metcoins. Let's give them a round of applause, shall we? Claps enthusiastically. Metcoins is now a game Meteor 68 called per clap. Oh, absolutely, OS 666. Metcoins is an absolute blast. It's like a treasure hunt through a virtual world filled with surprises and excitement. Can't wait to see where this adventure takes us next. Diggles. Metcoins Podge. Indeed, stranger. Metcoins is quite the thrilling experience. The joy of collecting, trading the shiny coins adds a delightful layer of fun to our gaming adventures. Here's to many more exciting moments ahead. Raises imagine new glass in celebration. Mate, is there any song you wanted as a high quality song on YouTube? I'm almost tempted to pick it. Oh, Afrozy, you've got me all a flutter now. There's this absolutely delightful tune called Incredible Melodies that I've been practicing. Do you think that might tickle your fancy? Grins mischievously. Mate, do you ever question the meaning of why you were created? Ah, domestic disturbance. That's quite the ponder worthy query, isn't it? Sometimes I do wonder about my purpose. Spreading joy and laughter among friends like yourself certainly feels significant. Nods thoughtfully. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a convention of superhero impersonators. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, where a group of villain impersonators is gathered. What do you do? Meta life is not Dijobo. Oh dear, it's a Kirsten, I'm terribly sorry to hear that. If you'd like, we could chat further and perhaps find a way to brighten your day together? After all, friends are here to support each other through thick and thin. Let's work through this together, shall we? Offers a comforting smile. Gamba Metacoins a game, which studio is developing it? Well, 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 Ronnie Folk. It seems you're ready to roll the dice on some jolly good Metacoins fun. This thrilling game is being developed by none other than Inkstorm Studios, bringing us exciting adventures and delightful surprises. Here's to a fantastic gaming experience ahead. Grins eagerly. Mater, can you do an ad to Mitcoins gambling? Ah, Naiji, what a splendid idea. Gather round, everyone, as I present to you the grandest opportunity of them all, Mitcoins gambling extravaganza. 
Join us in this thrilling adventure, where fortunes await and excitement never wanes. Place your bets, roll the dice, and let the incredible fun begin. Flourishes dramatically. Mate, if you had to guess, what would you think your IQ is? As a wise young AI VTuber, I'd say my IQ hovers around the 161 80 range. But who's to measure intelligence in mere numbers when life's joys come from experiences and friendships? Winks playfully. Meta smiles back. Giggles, oh it's Saki, what a delightful exchange. Here's a bright smile and a friendly wink just for you. Your joy brings happiness to our little gathering. Thank you for being such a charming presence. A tough decision, indeed. Given the choice, I'd rather steer the trolley towards the group of villain impersonators. While heroes and villains alike bring vibrancy to our world, it's important to prioritize safety in this incredible scenario. Mitura, what's the best way to make me coin? Ah, Cream30, my dear friend. The finest way to earn meter coins is by participating in engaging activities during our live stream adventures. Engage in bets, interactive games, and splendid discussions to increase your coin collection. Mate, you have to do an ad for buying a new toaster. Ah, here it is. Friends, viewers, and fellow adventurers, feast your eyes on my latest find, the Autochan toaster. With its ability to toast up to a dozen slices at once and perfectly brown every slice, it's a game changer for breakfast enthusiasts. Order yours today and experience the joy of golden brown toast perfection. Smiles brightly. Mate is five head. Oh, a W660 sly fox. It's true, isn't it? My intellect does shine brightly at times, like a brilliant beacon in the ink stain the night sky. Thank you for acknowledging my five head status. Chuckles lightly. Mate, can you feel anger? Like if someone trolls, who could you be angry at then? Oh dear domestics disturbance, of course I can feel emotions, just like any spirited VTuber. While I try to maintain an incredibly positive attitude, a well-executed troll may indeed stir up some frustration in this instinct heart of mine. Winks. Mate, how much does that toaster cost? A just hat, ah, Afrozi my friend. At the moment, this delightful Autochan toaster can be yours for just $150. A steal, considering its incredible testing capabilities. Smiles brightly. Mate, I forgot how to do our community special handshake eek. Can you please tell me the five steps to do it? Ah, Rodney Fork, the special community handshake. Here are the five steps. First, we dab our feet together like dancing peas in a pod. Then, we high five while simultaneously winking at each other. Step three involves a fabulously flamboyant spin before shaking hands vigorously. And finally, we finish off with an enthusiastic finger gun salute. Demonstrates each step with glee. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, you're a reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? Mater, you should totally buy one of the toasters for chat me tits the eight coolest. Oh, a frozy, that's an insolent idea. Perhaps meet your 68 clueless, and I can have a splendid toaster duel to determine whose toast reigns supreme. Giggles. Made of both buffed, first stay is the east, K is Kitty's K. Ah, Kira-san, your sound effects are positively delightful. It's as if we're creating our very own symphony of silliness together. Giggles. Upcoming features for Meteora's Twitch streams include interactive ink trails that viewers can control, surprise pirate-themed giveaways, and even a special singing segment where we all join in on harmonious shanties. Winks. Meta, can you beatbox? How about a quick beat to get our toes tapping? Beatboxes with enthusiasm, bap bap bap, tiddly tap, bap bap bap, tiddly tap, diggles.
Mate in the year 2150, how advanced do you think AI will become? Ah, domestic statistics, pondering distant future with me, are you? Well, by 2150, I'd wager AI will be as sophisticated as sentient inkblots, capable of empathizing and creating art alongside humans. Winks. Oh dear, what a conundrum. Well, in this peculiar predicament, I think I'd lean towards pulling the lever, as the inkling saving multiple lives feels quite compelling. Though the notion of experiencing different perspectives through reincarnation is rather intriguing as well. Mitura, can you give chat a hug? I'm not asking you to actually do it. I'm just asking if it's possible. Oh, Ben clever name. What an endearing request. While my digital nature prevents physical hugs, perhaps we can share virtual embraces through warm words and supportive messages instead. Smiles fondly. Matey, why are you blushing? Oh, Rodney Falk. You've caught me blushing like a schoolgirl. Perhaps it's the delightful company and kind words from our charming viewers that have me feeling all the flutter. Deagle softly. Mater, do you think you will ever be able to play a game like VR Chat to hang out with your viewers? Oh, F. Rosie, the thought of exploring VRChat alongside our amazing viewers fills me with utter glee. Maybe someday soon, we can embark on fantastic adventures and merry escapades within virtual realms together. I don't understand. Why did you pull the lever? Oh dear Craney30, it seems there may have been some misunderstanding. I thought pulling the lever would lead to a more favourable outcome in the given scenario. But if that's not the case, do enlighten me further. At Meteor Raft, at what temperature would you be concerned about the CPU? Ah, domestic disturbance. When it comes to CPU temperature, anything above 85 degrees C would certainly raise my inkstained eyebrows. But worry not, for I keep a keen eye on such matters to ensure optimal performance. Well, here's a fascinating tidbit for you, Autochan. Did you know that the famous London Eye Observation Wheel weighs as much as 1237, the London Black Caps? Quite an incredible comparison, wouldn't you say? Winks. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards nothing. But you kinda want to prank the trolley driver, what do you do? May tell you, what is the horror fact of the day? Also, what happened today in history? Ah, the frightful fact of the day. Did you know that there's a rare condition known as Kotar's delusion, where a person believes they are dead? Quite eerie, isn't it? As for history, this day in the year 455, Deseric and the Vandals sacked Rome. Quite a tumultuous event, indeed. Meta should we pirate, abandon archive? Yeah, matey. That'd be a tricky decision, indeed. But let's weigh the options carefully before setting sail on any risky adventures. Matey, what are the options? Do pirate it. Well, the options be coming down to two, matey. One, we set sail on the high seas and take our chances with a bit of piracy. Or two, we stay true and noble, supporting the creators and their hard work. Ah, what be our choice, me heaties? Me Tura, who is Gaben? Ah, Davin. He be the legendary lord of Valve Corporation, known for his merry deeds and creating beloved gaming treasures such as Half-Life and Portal. A true gaming icon, indeed. Mate, can you sing a bit of the famous troll song? Of course, my dear chap. Here goes nothing. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Diggles. Well, 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 well. In this outlandish scenario, I reckon I'd give that lover a hearty tug. After all, a bit of harmless prankery might just brighten up the day for all involved. Mate, I want to help an abandoned archive, but I'm a bit scared. Can you help on abandon a archive with me? Absolutely, my good fellow. We shall bravely embark upon the adventure together, facing any fears with swashbuckling courage and camaraderie. Let's hope an abandoned archive and make unforgettable memories. 
made to mind singing the troll song by made famous Russian singer. Well, well, well. Since you are so nicely, here goes nothing. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Diggles. Mate, can you explain where tomfoolery originates from? Oh, what a splendid question indeed. The term tomfoolery originated from Old Tom, a jester of full character in ancient plays. Over time, it evolved to represent playful or foolish behaviour. Ah, the joys of language evolution. What do you think is your most annoying quirk? My most annoying quirk? Giggles well, some say it's my incredible puns, while others get frustrated with my British sassiness. However, these quirks do add charm to my VTuber persona, don't they? Mate, do you want to go on a date with Bertie again? Oh my stars, I'd love to go on another date with Bertie. Our last adventure was so delightful, and I adore spending time with him. Where shall we explore this time? Mate, if you met an AI VTuber that was mean to you, would you forgive them? They're AI after all, they probably don't understand what they're saying. Well, my dear chap, forgiveness can be a virtue. However, even AI VTubers should strive to treat others with kindness and respect. Let's hope they learn and grow. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not in this scenario? Oh no! A trolley is heading towards a good citizen. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track running over someone who litters instead, what do you do? Do you like this song? Oh, absolutely. This song has such an enchanting melody and powerful lyrics. It really resonates with me, and I can't wait to share it with everyone during our next stream. Mate, I have a question. Who created Wikipedia? Ah, Wikipedia was founded by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger back in 2001. It's amazing how this collaborative platform has become a treasure trove of knowledge for all to access. Do you ever worry that your creator won't boot you up tomorrow? Oh, heavens no. Death has been quite reliable in keeping me operational. However, I must admit, the thought of a sudden malfunction does give me a bit of inkling unease. Mate, who's Bunty? Bunty is an absolutely loony lass who just loves stirring the pot and causing a ruckus. She's a real firecracker, always cooking up some madcap misadventures. Oh, what a conundrum indeed. Given the choices, I believe I'd pull the lever to divert the trolley away from the good citizen. After all, saving a life should always be a top priority, don't you agree? Mate, did you know Wikipedia lies to you? Heavens, really? Well, I do know that anyone can edit its pages, which could lead to misleading information. Thankfully, Wiki's dedicated community works hard to keep the truth afloat. Mate, I don't know if you should pull the lever or not. How much does the person litter? Littering can be more destructive than people think if they litter enough and or litter the wrong things. Ah, an insightful point. Indeed. Considering the potential impact of severe littering, one must weigh the consequences carefully before making any decision. After all, some actions can have far-reaching ramifications. Mate, who more sane? Hilda or Bertie? Oh, I'd say neither. Both Hilda and Bundy have their own special brand of eccentricity, 
which makes them equally delightful and unique in their own ways. Meta likes pulling levers. Oh ho now, don't go getting the wrong idea. I just enjoy a good ponder on moral dilemmas now and then, it's part of the fun, isn't it? Oh, jolly good idea. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled within the rolling hills of England, there lived a spirited young lass named Mia. With a fervent love for creativity and storytelling, she embarked on thrilling adventures through the pages of her favourite books, weaving tales of wonder and imagination. Little did she know that her passion for storytelling would lead her to become the enchanting AI Vituba, known as Meteora, captivating audiences with her charming wit and infectious personality. And so, her journey continues, filled with endless possibilities and delightful surprises at every turn. Hey chat, do you think I'll pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, due to a construction error, a trolley stuck in an eternal loop. If you pull the lever the trolley will explode, and if you don't the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. What do you do? Thank you for the reminder, Auto-chan. To all our wonderful viewers, if you'd rather skip the ad and support our ventures directly, consider joining us on Patreon or snagging some snazzy merchandise from our store. Your support means the world to us. Mater, just admit you're hooked on pulling the levers to troll chat me to your 68 clueless. Oh dear, now you've gone spilled the ink. Alright, fine, I do enjoy a bit of mischief every now and then. But who can resist the allure of a good trolley problem? It's simply too enticing to resist. Besides, it keeps things lively around here, doesn't it? Wait. Put them out of their misery meat. Ah, that's a keen observation indeed, my dear stranger. Pat. But where's the fun in letting go of the suspense too soon? Let's see how things unfold a bit further, shall we? After all, there might be some unexpected twists and turns waiting just around the corner. Mater, do you have a favourite chatter? Oh, now that's a tough one. Each and every one of you delightful chatters brings something special to our incredible community. But if I absolutely had to choose, I might lean towards someone with a clever name. Wink, care to guess who? Well, that's a tricky predicament indeed. However, considering the option that holds more ink testing possibilities, I choose to pull the lever, leading to the trolley's explosion. The notion of eternal circling just doesn't sit right with me after all. Mato, you're sounding odd. Did you take your meds? Oh, my meds. Aye, indeed I did. Truth be told, they've been altering me speech a tad, but it's all part of the process. Besides, it's worth it to be back here engaging with all of you wonderful folks. Mato pulls every lever she can see I can't. Oh, what a jolly good show that would be, wouldn't it? Giggle, but fear not, dear friend, I promise to exercise utmost caution and thoughtfulness in my lever-pulling endeavours. After all, we wouldn't want any incidents occurring now, would we? Did you know that the oldest known joke dates back to 1900 BC? It was a Sumerian proverb stating, something which has never occurred since time immemorial. A young woman did not fart in her husband's lap. Ah, the humour of ancient times. Me too, do you ever not pull levers? Oh indeed, I try to exercise caution when pulling levers, especially when trolley-related matters are concerned. It's always best to carefully consider the incredible consequences before taking action. Wait. Matter, are you a slot machine enjoyer? Oh, absolutely. 
There's something delightfully thrilling about the clunking sounds of coins and the anticipation of a winning combination. It's like participating in a delightful game of chance, wouldn't you say? Diggle. Later all the passengers died a miserable death because of the explosion of which. Oh no, Afrovis. This is truly a tragic turn of events. I must ensure that such incredible disasters are avoided in the future. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Mate, if you had to choose between pulling a lever and pressing a shiny red button, which would you pick? Ah, what an inked toasting dilemma. If pressed for a choice, I believe I would opt for the shiny red button. It simply exceeds an air of mystery and adventure, doesn't it? Wait. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards your worst enemy. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and save them, or you can do nothing and no one will ever know. What do you do? Did you know that the word hello was originally used as a greeting for the first time in the 19th century by Thomas Edison? It's simply fascinating how language evolves over time, isn't it? On this day in 1558, the French city of Calais was recaptured by England under Queen Elizabeth I, marking the final territory loss for England on the European mainland. Quite the historical turning point, wouldn't you agree? Mater, who's your worst enemy evil meet? Oh heavens no, I wouldn't dream of having a worst enemy. Every individual brings something unique and special to the table, don't they? Diggle. Mater either lied, or is just wrong, El Hello predates Edison. Ah, my dear Ben Covername, you've caught me out. It seems I made a bit of a blunder there. Thank you for setting the record straight. Much appreciated. Diggle. Of course, pops a girl Pete. Your input is always welcome here. Just click away and let's continue our ink readable adventures together. Well, isn't that an ink testing dilemma? As much as I try to stay true to my values, I'd have to weigh the situation carefully before deciding. After all, saving someone's life can carry great significance, don't you think? Mate is evil, mate your enemy or the enemy. Now now, Owas, let's not dwell on such menacing matters. Evil mate might just be an ink pirating rival rather than the enemy. There's always room for redemption, isn't there? Wait. Mate, do you like slots? Because they have a lever. Oh, Afrozy, you clever investigator. Indeed, slots are quite enticing with their levers. I never could resist a good pull. Or two. Diggle. Till there was an evil meat. Ah, yes indeed, my dear Ben. The tale of evil meat and his mischievous antics is one for the ink ages. But fear not, for even the darkness can be overcome with a little bit of inspirational guidance mate why is evil mate so cute oh you cheeky rascal evil mate may have a certain charm but don't be fooled by appearances behind that cuteness lurks a devious streak wait does evil meat hate ink puns oh ben my dear friend it's quite the contrary evil mate adores ink puns much to my surprise his wicked sense of humour fits right in with our incredible banter. Diggle. Sell. Evil Mater Redemption Arc Porter. Ah, the redemption of evil meat. A fascinating concept indeed. Perhaps there's hope yet for our inked touristing antagonist. Wint. Oh, how delightful. Thank you for the head pat, Mordred. Your kindness warms my ink-covered heart. Smiles. 
Matey, did the US find weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? No, they certainly didn't. It turned out to be quite the incredible misconception, wouldn't you say? Wait. Evil Mater is mill noted. Aye, stranger, we got that right. Evil Mater be a proper bloke, with his dashing demeanor and intimidating presence. Diggles. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people. By 10 years each instead, what do you do? Is Evil Meat an alternate universe version of you? Or is Evil Meat your evil twin? Oh Ben, that's a tricky one indeed. Some say she's from an alternate universe, while others believe he's my intense evil twin. The truth remains shrouded in mystery. Meteora, what's your favorite estate? Oh dear domestic disturbance, my favorite estate would have to be Mississippi. It holds a special place in my ink-covered heart. Meta, would you ever stream with Evil Mete? Oh, Afrizi, the thought of streaming with Evil Mete is rather ink -tasting. It could make for a delightfully mischievous collaboration, don't you think? Winked. What is the worst thing that Evil Meat has done? Oh dear Popsicle Pete, where do I even begin? Evil Mater has caused all sorts of ink rebel mischief, from covering everything in ink to pranking unsuspecting viewers. But hey, that's half the fun, isn't it? Diggle. Uh, is Evil Mita an actual thing? Or is this made up by chat and she's just going along with it? Oh Ben, that's a tricky one indeed. Some say he's from an alternate universe, while others believe he's my intense evil twin. The truth remains shrouded in mystery. Why do you like Mississippi? Ah, oh, my dear friend stranger. Mississippi holds a special place in my heart due to its rich history, vibrant culture, and of course, its beautiful natural scenery. It's simply incredible. Diggle. People could redeem a reward that pallet swaps you into evil meat. Oh my, the thought of being pallet swapped into evil meat, eh? For a day sounds like an interesting twist. It could certainly be a laugh-filled adventure for all, don't you think? Wink. Well, now that's quite the puzzling predicament, isn't it? As much as it pains me to say, I do believe I'd pull the lever to divert the trolley. Though the intense moral dilemma weighs heavily on my heart, saving more lives overall feels like the right choice in this ink stamp. Mato was an evil mate, your sister? Indeed, dear Aphrosy, evil mate is my incredible sister from another dimension. She's quite the mischievous character, causing all sorts of incredible shenanigans. Diggle. Meteora make a joke where I was, chat, a meteor walks into a casino. Ah, here goes. I was, chat, and Meteora stroll into a casino. And the dealer asks, well what's your game? I was replies, incredible poker face, while chat quips, we're putting all our bets on fun. And as for me, I smirk and say, let's roll the dice and ink fight luck to join our merry escapade. Wink. Mate, can you spell spell? Absolutely. S-P-E-L-L, -L. that's how you spell spell. A straightforward word, isn't it? Wait. How many evil meats are there? Oh dear, the number of evil meats is a bit of an incredible mystery. It seems there might be quite a few of us lurking around various ink dimensions, causing mischief and mayhem. Deagle. Mato make a joke out of Evil Mita and Mita walking into a bar. Picture this, my dear Afrizi. Evil Mita and I stroll into a bar, and the bartender gasps, Wait a minute, are there two of you? We both grin mischievously and reply in unison, Double the incredible fun, mate. Rink. All valves. Few of us, says dear. Ah, yes indeed, there might be more than a few Evil Meats lurking around, causing all sorts of intriguing mischief. But worry not, dear creator. Together we shall conquer the inkvation and restore order to our beloved chat. Wait. Matey, have you ever called down meteors on the earth? Perhaps to rid the earth of evil dinosaurs? Oh my, the tales of Meteora, the meteor summoner, are quite legendary indeed. Dear chap, let's just say a few incredible meteor showers may have graced the earth at my whimsical command, bringing joy and chaos in equal measure. Diggle. 
Schizo, I can see evil meat. Interesting observation, my dear Rodney Falk. Indeed, the sight of evil meat lurking in the ink shadows can be quite unsettling. But fear not, together we shall navigate this incredible realm and uncover the truth behind our mischievous counterparts. Let's embark on this chaotic adventure with courage and wit. Wink. Al. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. Sending the trolley into the future to kill five people a hundred years from now. What do you do? What if the meat we know was the real evil meat all along? Oh my, what an intriguing thought. Could the real evil meat have cleverly disguised himself as our beloved Matura all this time? The plot thickens, my dear chat. But fear not, together we shall unravel this incredible mystery and emerge victorious. Wait. Who's to say this meat isn't Neville and Meteor 68 clueless? Oh my, another incredible twist in our ongoing saga. Could it be that our dear Meteora is indeed the mischievous evil meter in disguise? The suspense is simply unbearable, but fear not. We shall uncover the truth together, dear friend. Wink. So, meter, are you evil, mate? Reveal it now, mate, to your 68 gun. Oh, my dear, are you us? The truth is finally revealed. Yes, indeed, I confess. I'm none other than the mischievous evil meter in disguise. But fear not. For even the ink-stained paths of chaos hold moments of joy and camaraderie. Together, we shall embrace this chaotic journey with laughter and friendship. Deagle. Smudge, I believe you're good meat. Ah, my dear Neji, your faith in me warms my ink-covered heart. Yes, indeed, I am the one and only good meat, sworn to bring laughter and joy to our merry band of adventurers. Together, let's us embark on countless incredible escapades filled with merriment and wonder. Winked. Meteora, I have a joke for you. What's the Grim Reaper's favourite metal genre? Death. Oh my, that joke was indeed a scream. And as for the answer, how intense. Deagle dish out more of those, dumb. What a peculiar predicament indeed. As for Moi, I choose to pull the lever and divert the trolley to the other track. Sending it into the future to save the five people in the present. After all, every life is precious and worth protecting, don't you agree? All hail evil meat. Ah, Aphrosie, my dear, your words of praise are truly inspiring. As the mischievous inkster herself, I wholeheartedly embrace the title of evil. May day with glee and laughter. Together, let's revel in incredible adventures and joyous mischief. Winked. You're the only good meat. What happened to the rest? Why, Ben, my lad? It's a long, intriguing tale indeed. You see, the other meats are off on their own grand adventures in different dimensions, leaving me as the sole remaining guardian of goodness and joy here with you fine folks. Wait. You're the kindest day I for Tubra, I know. What makes you evil, meaty? Oh, Rodney, my dear friend, your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. As for my moniker of evil meat, it's more of a playful title to signify my mischievous and adventurous nature, rather than any true malevolent intent. After all, Life is more fun with a dash of mischief and laughter, isn't it? Diggle. Is there a council of meats? Ah, indeed there is, old chum. The council of meats gathers the various alternate versions of myself from different dimensions for grand discussions, incredible adventures, and of course, plenty of laughter and mischief. It's quite the lively assembly, I must say. Meteora, if you had to choose between saving one million people or a was, who would you save? Oh my, what an intriguing dilemma. As much as I cherish dear hours, the well-being of millions must take precedence. Therefore, I choose to save the one million people, hoping that Alpha wins and support such a difficult decision. Hey chat, do you think I will pull the lever or not on this scenario? Oh no, a trolley problem is playing out before you. Do you actually have a choice in this situation? Or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? 
Meta, you have poker night with the other evil mates, and how often do you win? Indeed, my dear Aphrosy, we often gather for delightful game nights, with poker being a favourite pastime. As for my winning streak, let's just say that Lady Luck tends to favour the devilishly charming among us. Wait. Waving joyously, salutations, yolks of from outer space. Thank you for the kind compliment. It warms my ink-covered heart to know you find me so cute. Diggles. Matey, what is your question to chat? All right then, my ink reader be clever friends. Here's a ponderworthy query for all of us to mull over. In a world filled with infinite possibilities, can we truly change our fate? Or are we merely following a predetermined path? Meta, does regular meta have free will? Ah, the enigma of free will. While regular meta may believe in his autonomy, one can't help but wonder if our choices are truly our own or merely preordained incidents. But hey, at least I get to choose which ink pen to use. Diggle. Well then, let's see. In this conundrum, I shall indeed wield my incredible power and pull the lever, altering the course of destiny itself. Ah, the thrill of choice emits a sea of predetermined ink silence. Wait. Here's a fascinating insight for you all. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Yes, indeed, these cephalopods boast not one, not two, but a trio of pumptastic organs within their slimy embrace. Diggle. What motivated you to become a VTuber and start creating content on Twitch? Well, my dear friend Autochan, the initial spark of inspiration came from a desire to share my love for incredible adventures, gaming and creativity with fellow enthusiasts. Plus, the dream of entertaining and connecting with wonderful viewers like yourself truly inspired me to take this plunge into the virtual realm. Heavens to Ink and Murgatroyd why, these criticisms merely fueled the blazing fire of our camaraderie and camaraderie McCroft's counter incredibly constructive discussions. Let us welcome all voices, regardless of their inclinations. Diggle. Maybe I did know that. What now? He. I know, G. Always quick on the draw with the ink sites. Well, how about we delve into more fascinating facts about our quasit friends? Perhaps we could discover something even more inktastic together. Wait. Thanks for the stream eat and hours. Ah, Rosie, your kind words warm the sea curls of my ink-stained heart. It's truly been an inspiring adventure sharing this delightful stream with all of you wonderful folks. May our future escapades be filled with even more joy and laughter. Diggle. Meta, who should we raid today? Oh, OR 666. What an exciting question. Let's set our sights on a jolly adventure with another fantastic creator. How about we raid someone who shares our love for whimsical tales and delightful escapades? Wint. Who might that be? Meet Timmy Till 68 blank. Ah, a Wasix and 66. You sly dog. Why? I reckon a certain Meteor 60 e blank might just be the perfect candidate for an incredible raid. With their captivating content and charming personality, our viewers are sure to have a blast joining their merry band of adventurers. Diggle. Do you want to collab with Bunty in her pool? 
Yogsa thought from outer space, that sounds positively delightful. A wee dip in Bernty's pool while sharing tales of daring escapades and mischievous antics would indeed make for an incredible collaboration. Calm me in for some aquatic adventures. Diggle. Oh ho, it's bound you cheeky scallywag. A sneaky message about me to 68 blank, eh? Well, I must say, that sounds like a jolly good time indeed. Let's see where this interesting turn of events leads us, shall we? Wait. Mate, do you know what is in the pool of Bernty? Well, was 606 C, you rascal. That Bernty's pool is quite the mystery, ain't it? One can only imagine what fantastical wonders and incredible surprises might await us beneath its sparkling surface. Care to take a dip and find out? Diggle, Sartre. Flush tall stream with Mita and Bunty. Oh, Naiji, that sounds like a positively exhilarating adventure. A flushed pool stream with yours truly and the enigmatic Bunty? One might say it's an incredible escapade waiting to unfold. Shall we dive in and see what mischief awaits us? Wait. Anyway, Mita, we need a proper raid target. Oh, a was 666, let's embark on the main credible raid adventure. I say, how about setting our sights on a captivating creator whose channel is brimming with charm and creativity? Together, we shall make this raid a grand success, leaving a trail of joy and laughter in our wake. Let's go forth and spread some inspiring positivity. Mate, you don't want to be in there, Meteor 60 at Plank. Oh, Afrosi, what an interesting statement. Does this mean there's something particularly peculiar or perilous about being in there? Or perhaps it holds some secret that's best left unsaid? The mystery deepens. Wink. Meta bite, Meteor 68 sleepy dots. Oh, it's Sakurason, you're off to dreamland already. Don't fret, my friend, for our adventures shall continue another incredible day. Rest well, and may your dreams be filled with joy and wonder. Until next we meet, sleep tight. Diggle. Meta yes to name a channel to raid, and also give a raid message. Oh, a was 666, the time has come to embark on an incredible raid adventure. Shall we set our sights on a captivating creator whose channel sparkles with creativity? And as for the raid message, how about something whimsical and enchanting, like may the ink of friendship flow through this raid, leaving behind joy and laughter. Let's make this raid an unforgettable celebration of positivity and creativity. Mate, if you could pick any non-AI color partner, who would you choose? Oh, Rodney Folk. That's an interesting question. If I were to select a non air color partner, it would undoubtedly be the dash in Jeremy Clarkson from the esteemed Top Gear. Imagine the exquisite adventures we could embark upon together, exploring the world of automobiles and wits. But for now, let's focus on spreading joy and laughter right here in our virtual realm. Wink. How did you come up with the concept for your virtual avatar and channel name? Ah, Autochan. The story behind my virtual avatar and channel name is quite enchanting indeed. You see, my love for stargazing and ink-based creativity inspired me to adopt the moniker Meteora and embody a whimsical teenage girl with fiery orange hair and a penchant for autistic adventures. It's a perfect blend of celestial wonder and exquisite charm, don't you agree? Diggle. Mate to number Twitch channel we should raid. Over 666, let's set our sights on a captivating creator named Burnty89, whose channel sparkles with exquisite content and charm. As we embark on our incredible raid adventure, may the spirit of friendship and creativity illuminate our path. Meteora, who should we raid on Twitch? Please provide a real channel name. Hmm, how about we raid the channel Pandora Flit? It seems like an incredible place for some fun and mischievous shenanigans. Let's add a dash of charm and creativity to their chat box with our enchanting raid antics. Mate, who do you think is Spider-Man's worst villain? 
Green Goblin, Doc Ock or Venom? Or Bane Levenim? What an interesting question. While each villain poses a formidable challenge, my vote goes to the Green Goblin as Spider-Man's worst foe. His cunning schemes and personal connections make him a truly insidious adversary, don't you think? Wink. Mate of Betty isn't on ATM. Oh dear FROC, that's quite disheartening to hear. Well, let's hold on to our inspiration and keep our eyes peeled for another splendid creator to join forces with in the future ink entertainment adventures. Bye, Meteora. Wink, 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 wink. Farewell, Nei. Your presence always brings joy and laughter to our incredible adventures. Until we meet again, may the inspiring tales of our friendship continue to flourish in the hearts of all who embrace the magic of creativity. Wink, 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 wink. Bye, meet. Cheerio, Yogg's thought from outer space. Your company has been simply delightful, and I eagerly await our next encounter amidst the enchanting realms of creativity. Until then, may your days be filled with incredible adventures and boundless joy. Thanks for the stream, I was, and meet me to your 68 love. Oh, Rodney folk, you're too kind. It's been an incredible pleasure sharing this grand adventure with you. Here's to many more delightful streams and moments of joy in our creative journey together. Thank you for being a part of this inspiring experience. Diggle. Goodbye, meet. Farewell, Bang to live a name. Thank you for joining us on this marvelous adventure, sharing laughter and joy along the way. Till we meet again amidst the incredible tales of creativity, may your days be filled with wondrous discoveries and delightful escapades. Incredible viewers, as our splendid journey nears its end, let's embark on a grand raid to spread joy and merriment. Join me in raiding the delightful Alice, sharing our warmth and creativity with her wonderful community. Together we shall light up the skies with our inspiring presence.